Hello, my name is Lance Kaminsky and I'm the Impact Center Science Teacher. I'm going to make this quick video on how I use online tools such as YouTube and Ingenuity to differentiate instruction, to also have students catch up on work that they might have had difficulty in or haven't seen before, and also to improve instruction. So since I work at the Impact Center, many of you are aware, we receive students throughout the year. Many times we might receive a student near the end of a unit where their previous teacher, they might even be a week ahead or behind. So it's fairly difficult for us to catch them up on instruction. Using these online tools is a very beneficial way to help them catch up on their work. So here you'll see just my computer screen. First thing I use is YouTube. If you actually type in Teacher Kaminsky on YouTube, you'll actually see my YouTube page. Now I've made every single one of these videos and this shows a flipped learning classroom where students will be able to catch up on any missed science work. So let's just click chemistry for example. Let's say a student comes in in the middle of math of chemistry, a stoichiometry. They could watch this video to have a good initial overview of what we're covering in the unit. Right? These are all aligned with C-Scope in the right order that all the teachers are following as well. So they should be within a unit or two. Alright class, today we're going to go over the math of chemistry. Another word for that is stoichiometry. You see the joke on the left, there's my favorite chemistry cat ever doing his lab science stuff. So what's a, what's a chemist's favorite plant? Stoichiometry tree. Get it? Tree. So I had to put a really corny joke in there. Then you'll see the actual notes that I have involving the unit. So um, in the flip learning classroom, Let's say they're not under, not, they're having trouble figuring out how to convert grams of something given to grams what they're looking for. They could play it back, they could rewind it, and then see the initial notes as well. So it'll help them catch up on their work. I'll also use Ingenuity. On Ingenuity, um, I typically will set up either the whole semester here. So this is the first semester of physics. Um, starts with graphing motion, kinematics, Newton's laws, and whatnot. And this is actually the whole first semester. If you click on an individual topic, you could actually differentiate the actual units that you need. So when a student comes in and you see that they did well in a certain lab grade, you could actually uncheck the lab section. Um, so a lab lecture, for instance, I would uncheck here. Now when a new student comes in, I've been starting to do new individual units based on what they're covering. So I have the juvenile justice class. Uh, I had a student come in in the middle of the wave unit, so I made up a separate wave section and then you see right here I only clicked on the wave unit so when the student came in he was able to use this um, blended learning model in order to catch up on the wave unit while I was helping out other classes at that time and then a final thing that I've been using is for pre-AP students um, they'll typically have most of the normal classwork but I also put them on ingenuity to increase the vigor of the class um, and make it pre-AP level as well. So I had a few students come in this year that came in during evolution and um, different microorganisms. So I clicked on evolution, organisms. You'll see that here I have pro protists and fungi. So you could have an instruction, you could have them enter the assignment, and then they actually have graded quizzes there as well. When you actually put it in the grade book, you could actually change the percent that they need in order to get right could actually slightly increase the difficulty of some of the questions. So, for example, let's say you look at physics, you could do edit course options. You could change the passing thresholds. Um, for pre-AP, it should be higher than the 70. You could even change the different grading weights to notice your percentages. Um, and then there's a lot of different options in changing the review, how to edit your work. Um, you could have teacher review as well, and even allow notes on exams if you'd like. So. When I'm doing this for a pre-AP unit, I usually do leave this on, but if it was a credit recovery class, that would probably be turned off. So that's just some of the basics that I use in order to um, help students at Impact um, to catch up on their work if they're behind in any particular units. You could also use Edgephoria in order to determine a certain unit exam that they didn't do as well at, and then just make a separate class for that. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email at kaminskyl at heycisd.net.